What is going on, Summoners? We're back here today with another Champion Deep Dive. Today, we're talking about Kate Bishop. So sit back and relax, cause it's time to get into it. When Kate is attacked by a basic attack while suffering from a stun debuff, she has a 100% chance to purify the stun and evade the hit. Also, when she performs a well-timed block against a basic attack, she has a 100% chance to evade and counterattack with a taser arrow. This inflicts a passive stun for 3 seconds, but is removed when the opponent is struck 2 times. When this happens, her personal evades go on cooldown for 10 seconds. On her heavy attack, she inflicts a non-stacking tracking debuff on the opponent for 10 seconds, bypassing the effects of miss. Also, if it was charged for more than one second, it knocks the opponent back farther than normal. And if this attack knocks them into the wall, she inflicts a crush passive on the opponent for two seconds and refreshes all of her trick arrows, but more on that later. Additionally, while Kate has the defender cornered, they're 60% more likely to use their special. Now, let's check out her special attacks. Kate's special attacks gain passive true accuracy throughout the entire attack. Additionally, pressing the block input after her first hit slows down time, and releasing it precisely when Kate releases her arrow counts as a perfect release bonus, which grants an indefinite dialed-in passive, increasing the duration of effects inflicted by her trick arrows by 10%. This maxes out at two stacks, but failing to activate a perfect release removes one instead. While defending, Kate has up to a 100% chance to activate a perfect release bonus based on her missing health. Kate has four trick arrows, each inflicting different effects on the final hit of the special one, lasting 12 seconds and maxing out at two stacks. Starting with Cryo, which inflicts a cold snap passive, dealing energy damage to the opponent. However, when performing a perfect release, she inflicts a critical cold snap passive instead. Next up, Tranquilizer, where she inflicts a 40% potency Tranquilize debuff. When performing a perfect release, this debuff gains plus 12% potency. With Caltrops, she'll inflict a Caltrops passive. This is a new ability that deals instant bleed damage to the opponent whenever they dash forward or backward. When performing a perfect release, this passive also deals double damage when the opponent charges their heavy attack. And finally, Dissolver. Kate inflicts a fragility debuff on the opponent, reducing their block proficiency and increasing her critical damage rating. When performing a perfect release, she also inflicts a non-stacking Sunder passive, setting the opponent's critical resistance to zero while active. Now, Kate starts each fight with her Cryo Arrow ready, and cycles her Trick Arrow after each special attack, or by double tapping block. She can also choose a different starting arrow in the pre-fight menu, but this disables automatic cycling after her special attacks. Now, if Kate strikes the opponent while they're recovering from a heavy attack or special attack, she pauses all of these effects for 5 seconds. And while defending, Kate's trick arrow effects deal 75% less damage. With the special 2, the second hit of this attack inflicts a trick arrow on the opponent and can apply through block. With a perfect release, this effect is inflicted twice. The final hit bombards the opponent with putty arrows, inflicting a passive stun for 3.5 seconds. This stun is removed when the opponent is struck twice. The Special 3 At the end of this attack, Kate gains a non-stacking cruelty passive, increasing her critical damage rating for 12 seconds. A perfect result on the Special 3 minigame counts as a perfect release. And when doing so, she also gains a non-stacking precision passive, increasing her critical rating for the same duration. These passives follow the same pause and refresh abilities as her trick arrows. Now, let's check out her signature ability. 
When awakened, the max stack limit for her dialed-in passives is increased by up to three stacks, for a total of five. And each of her dialed-in passives increase the potency of her trick arrows by up to 15%. Additionally, striking the opponent's block now pauses all of her trick arrows for up to two seconds. Now let's take her out for a spin in the champion rotation. To begin, perform a well-timed block and leave them passively stunned. Dash in with your medium attack and charge your heavy to push them back towards the wall. Rush in and build up to just under two bars of power. Then launch your special one to place your first trick arrow. Continue using your special one to apply the rest of your trick arrows, but make sure to weave in heavy attacks to keep the defender pinned against the wall and refresh the duration of your effects as you go along. Now that you're all built up, you can take advantage of her Caltrop's passive to deal extra damage to the opponent while you pause and refresh the rest of your effects. And if they aren't already knocked out, you could stack on another set of trick arrows as you watch their health bar melt before your eyes. Now, let's check out some of her notable synergies. Heavy Responsibilities With Kamala Khan on the team, Kate only needs to charge her heavy attack for half as long to activate her increased knockback ability. As for Kamala, charging a heavy attack generates her fury buffs twice as fast. Young Avengers With Wiccan, Hulkling, America Chavez, Loki, or Cassie Lang on the team, Young Avengers gain plus 500 block proficiency and 5% combat power rate. Ice Queens With Emma Frost, Elsa Bloodstone, Misty Knight, or Iceman on the team, Kate, Emma, and Elsa, when causing an opponent's evade to fail due to cold snap or reduced ability accuracy, inflict a Frostbite passive for 10 seconds. As for Iceman and Misty, they inflict one of their personal Frostbite effects whenever the opponent fails to evade due to their cold snap. Partners with Hawkeye or Ronin on the team, when activating a perfect release on her special 2, she gains two additional dialed-in passes. With Hawkeye, failing to activate a perfect release bonus only removes one dialed-in passive. And as for Ronin, entering his Wraith stance refreshes his personal disorient effects on the opponent and pauses them for three seconds. Don't call me princess. With America Chavez on the team, the max stack limit of all of Kate's trick arrows is increased by one. As for America, she reduces the duration of the opponent's indestructible and regeneration buffs by 40% for each of her unique parallel dimensions. Did you see a synergy that was right on target? Thinking of a new synergy team? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below and let's discuss. Thank you for watching this champion deep dive for Kate Bishop. And hey, if you like the video and want to see more, click subscribe, like, comment, and share. And remember, we'll see you in the battle round.